Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Nancy, and today I'm reading the story called Eugene, Why Don't You Paint? There's Eugene, a little guy right there. This is a book I had when I was a little kid. As you can see, it's pretty worn. Somebody, I think one of my dogs, chewed on it a little bit too, even over here. But it's a well-loved book. The, this story is by Betsy Wade, and it's illustrated by Faye Gage. And that's Eugene right here. There's some coloring inside here too. I think I might have scribbled on it or maybe one of my kids scribbled on it. I'm not too sure. Eugene, why don't you paint? You know how sometimes because we're all inside right now, you might find that uh, you're kind of bored and you're looking for something different to do. Well, Eugene was pretty bored one day and so his mom gave him an idea of something different to do. It was raining. See that? It's raining. Eugene asked his mother, what can I do? What can I do, mommy? He did not like her ideas. He did not want to play with crayons. And the thing he most did not want to do was clean his room doesn't want to clean up his room, does he? No. Why don't you paint this flower pot, his mother asked. See how I scribbled it? Somebody scribbled it right there. That was a good idea. She gave him a can of paint and daddy's brush. And spread newspapers, she called after him. There he is, he's going. He's got the blue paint and the paintbrush right there. Eugene put the pot on his chair and started to paint. There he is, he's painting right here. The pot looked pretty. Eugene put the pot on the sill to dry. There it is on the windowsill. Some dripped. Did the paint drip on the chair right there? Yeah, it looks like it did. Eugene had always wanted a blue chair in his room. Yellow was boring. I think he's going to paint that chair blue, which is probably a good idea. Maybe he should have spread newspapers after all. Uh-oh. Do you see? Some kind of dripped over here and over here and over here. And on Eugene, even. Maybe a blue square on the floor would look like a mat. Eugene decided he always wanted a blue rug in his room. So he's painting the whole room, whole rug blue. Uh-oh. A lot of paint there, isn't there? Some of the rug was on the wall. You see that right here? Right here, it's kind of... He splashes up there, a little bit over here. Blue on the wall looked nice. Yeah, it does look nice. The other wall looked nice blue too. He's painting the whole wall. There he is. Painters work hard. He's painting up high all over here. He's working hard, that Eugene. It was a very matching room. Look at that. It is a very matching room. It's all blue. Eugene heard his mother coming. He wondered if she would like his room. Mm, his mommy's coming. He's blue too. Do you see that? Everything's blue. Eugene! Eugene, where are you? I can't find you, his mother said. He smiles. Mother, do you like my blue room? Eugene asked. He's smiling. That's how she can see him, I think. He's got a big, big smile. Oh, Eugene, I'm so glad to find you, his mother said. I think a blue room is all right. Eugene hugged her. And if you get tired of it, she said, you can always paint it yellow again. Let's see, it used to be yellow, I think. And he's hugging his mommy. 
Would you like some milk and cookies, she asked. Let's go and get some. Look at Eugene. He still has a lot of blue on him. Did he get a blue hug on his mommy too? But she's just happy to find him. The end. So hopefully you find something to do when you're a little bored that maybe isn't painting your whole room. Thank you very much for watching. Eugene, why don't you paint? Bye-bye now. I miss Nancy.